Green spawn is an essential step in the process of growing mushrooms. It serves as the starting point, providing necessary nutrients and acting as a carrier agent for the mycelium. These four grain bags were inoculated with golden oyster, king blue oyster, white oyster, and Italian oyster. In this video we'll explore the crucial aspect of shaking the bag at the right time to distribute the mycelium evenly, expediting the colonization process. I'll leave links in the description to videos I made that will show you how to make your own grain spawn and later in this video I'll show you an example of why it's important to achieve the proper moisture content. As you can see this bag of grain spawn has been inoculated with mushroom mycelium about two weeks ago. Since then the mycelium has been spreading throughout the grain establishing a network that will eventually give rise to mushrooms. But to ensure optimal growth we must intervene at the right moment. By shaking the bag once the mycelium has grown about 20% of the way, we encourage the mycelium to evenly distribute throughout the grain. This allows the mycelium to reach every corner of the bag, increasing its chances of fully colonizing in a shorter amount of time. When the mycelium is spread uniformly, it can effectively access all available nutrients, leading to robust and healthy growth. Additionally, by expediting the colonization process, we reduce the risk of the grains drying out before full colonization. I massaged the filter patch bag and dumped the grains back and forth between the top and bottom to evenly distribute all of the myceliated grains. Shaking the grain bag is also helpful for identifying potential contaminants. By disturbing the grain, any hidden contamination is brought to the surface making it visible and easier to address. If any contamination is discovered after the shake, it is essential to discard the bag and prevent it from spreading and contaminating subsequent stages of the process. This ensures that the following steps maintain a clean and favorable environment for the healthy growth of mycelium and ultimately the mushrooms. It is important to achieve the proper moisture levels when working with grain spawn. Here we have a bag that was soaked for too long, causing the grain to become slimy and discolored. This excessive moisture creates an environment where bacterial contamination can thrive, hindering the growth of mycelium. As you can see, the mycelium refuses to grow in these conditions. The slimy grain not only inhibits mycelial colonization, but also increases the risk of unwanted bacteria taking over, jeopardizing the entire cultivation process. You will also be able to tell the difference between a bacterial bag and a healthy bag by the smell coming through the filter patch. When I was showing you that bacterial bag just a moment ago, it was extremely terrible smelling. So we know right away that that bag has to be thrown away. This stark contrast between a contaminated bag and a healthy bag emphasizes the significance of maintaining proper hydration levels. By ensuring that the grain is slightly moist without being overly wet, we create an environment conductive to mycelial growth. Now these grain bags will be fully colonized and ready to spawn substrate in the next two to three weeks. I hope this video can help some beginners understand the process of using grain spawn to grow mushrooms. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.